May have, and we do have quite a lot. We all learn things about the broads, and it's amazing how many of our visitors come in, having seen one of the exhibits. They will come along and say, my grandfather used to do that, or we're learning all the time, and it's so interesting, apart from the fact that we meet some extremely interesting people. The water rail may sometimes be seen alongside. She was originally named Delight 7, one of 12 hire cruisers dating from the 1930s, built and operated by Herbert Woods of Potter Hyam, and in service until the 1950s. Restored to her original configuration and packed with top-of-the-range features which recall boating holidays of long ago. This old cruiser reminds me of the first holiday we had on the Broads. It's such a nice, neat, beautiful old boat. years ago would even make a little stack and thatch them to keep it dry. Very important to keep reed dry. It's a hard job but at the end of the day it's what you like. That reed crop or sedge crop would be their living and they would never destroy that. This is why the hand tools in my opinion are still some of the best tools you can use. You don't do any damage with a scythe. It cuts clean. I love tinkering on my old tools. If it's a wet day I get in my old shed and clean up something that someone would probably chuck away. Nowadays, the most visible trade on the marshes is the gathering of reed for use in thatching.